As a young researcher, I had the opportunity to, to examine hundreds of uh, patients who were participating in the Einstein aging study. And one thing I noticed that if an older person was walking slowly, there was a good chance that their cognitive tests were also abnormal. So this got me thinking that perhaps we could use this simple clinical sign to predict who would develop dementia. And in an early study that I did, which um, showed that people who had abnormal neurological gates um, were at higher risk of converting to dementia over follow-up, was actually probably the first step towards leading towards the MCR concept. The motoric cognitive risk syndrome is an advance on the slow gait concept because it also requires that you have cognitive complaints. So if you see an older patient who's walking slow and also has cognitive complaints, then it's quite likely that they meet the criteria for motoric cognitive risk syndrome, or as we call it, MCR. We conducted a global study. We involved uh, 22 studies from 17 different countries. On the average, 9 to 10 percent of older adults living in the community met criteria for MCR. Patients who met criteria for MCR in these studies were twice as likely to develop dementia compared to someone who did not meet criteria for MCR. This slide shows the risk of dementia associated with MCR. You see two curves over here. The blue one represents patients who did not meet MCR criteria. The red one is patients with MCR. And as you could see over a 12-year period, it works out to roughly about participants with MCR having twice the risk of converting to dementia compared to participants without MCR. So in a clinical setting, if you have a patient who meets criteria for MCR, the, pr the first step you need to do is to find out why they have MCR, what's causing them to have the slow gait and cognitive complaints, and it might be vascular disease, it could be strokes, it could be other neurological diseases, or it could just be arthritis, which might not actually put you at risk for dementia. And once you've investigated and found out if there's an underlying treatable disease, your first step should be to in, uh, institute treatment. A take-home message is if you have an older uh, relative or patient who's walking slowly, there's only a warning sign that you, this person needs further investigations. If you have a combination of walking slow as well as cognitive complaints, then this might be a person who meets criteria for MCR and requires further investigations. If you could identify these individuals early and introduce interventions that might slow down their rate of cognitive decline or even arrest it, then the potential payoff is tremendous.